Ah, oh, the nature boy. A man who was just built for the big stage. What's causing all this? The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match. Making his way to the ring from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 232 pounds. The stage is not the befitting the star. Rick, Rick Flair deserves Flair. a stadium, not this crappy little NXT arena. How lucky are we to be graced by the presence of a nature boy who is truly styling a profile and hey, Look at that gold watch he's wearing. I heard he has one for every day of the year. Well, you heard absolutely right. That suit he's wearing, well over five grand. The Nature Boy looks like a million bucks, and that's why he's the best. $25,000 robe, a lifestyle that most people could never imagine. It's tough being the nature boy. There's an old saying, if you want to be a star, you got to look like a star. Well, the nature boy more than looks like a star. To be the man, you've got to beat the man. And ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at the man. Byron Saxton, what's causing all this? A nature boy, woo! Did you ever think you'd see the day that Ric Flair was in WWE? It is a surreal event. And it's happening right before her very eyes. And from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 245 pounds, the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. I can't believe what it must be like to, to live the lifestyle of Ric Flair. We can only imagine that's as good as it's going to get. From the way he rolls up in a limousine to walking in the building, custom made from head to toe, to becoming the 60-minute man in the ring, nobody does it better than the Nature Boy. The Nature Boy, Ric Flair, has competed in virtually every type of contest our business has known. Competition is competition, and it's all the same to the Nature Boy, because the fact still remains, to be the man, you gotta beat the man. Well, we're looking at three of WWE's oh. best going at it head to head to head in what promises to be an amazing match. The Nature Boy may be flashy with his robes and struts, but he's also all business in that ring. I can point to at least 16 times he's proven that. Nice leg pick. A knee drop! Larian. This might be it! Oh my! Ooh! Nailed it! Most WWE champions had to overcome a single opponent to claim the biggest prize in the game. Some had to overcome a triple threat, a fatal four-way, or even five other men in the elimination chamber. 
but Ric Flair beat 29 other men to win his first WWE title at the 1992 Royal Rumble. Momentum not on the Nature Boy side. He came into this match expecting a fight, and that's exactly what he's getting. Michael mentioned Ric Flair's performance at the 1992 Royal Rumble. He literally outlasted everyone since he entered the match at number three as the first two entrants fought and was there to toss out the final competitor as well. That's true, Saxon. It's impressive to win the Rumble at any spot, but Ric Flair was in there with every single competitor and outlasted them all. It was a performance truly worthy of the WWE Championship. Oh, man. That'll tear your hamstring. Momentum not on the Nature Boy side. One of the most iconic moments in our business occurred on January 19, 1992. That's when the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, lasted more than an hour to win the Royal Rumble. In the process, Flair became the new WWE Champion and showed that he truly is the 60-minute man. Got the leg. Oh! Dragon Whip connects. Ric Flair is no stranger to making history. When Flair won the WWE title at the 92 Royal Rumble, he joined the original Nature Boy. Buddy Rogers is the only people to hold the NWA and WWE championships during their career. The 1992 Royal Rumble is considered by many fans as the greatest Rumble in oh, history man. because of the array of superstars who competed in it. That night was another in a long line of nights where Ric Flair rose to the top of the mountain. Shapebreaker! Quick reversal by Ric Flair. At 2016's Clash of Champions, it was another classic triple threat match for the Raw Whoa. Women's Championship. It was Bailey versus the boss, Sasha Banks, versus the champion, Charlotte Flair. The match started out more like a singles match between the boss and the queen. Bailey learned very quickly it was every woman for herself. He caught him slipping. Oh, no. Ric Flair still dazed. The triple threat match for the Raw Women's Championship was another example. Didn't have to dig very deep to kick out of that one. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh, continuing to punish them. Boom! <laughs> He's making a statement here with this attack. If you look up the word champion in the dictionary, there should be a full-page picture of Ric Flair in his diamond sequin robe in that classic WCW World Heavyweight Championship. The oh, referee better get a hold of things. The figure four leg Whoa. off. Looks like Ric Flair is fading here. He needs to find a way to get on the offensive, guys. Returning to your point about Ric Flair being champion, Michael, Flair's amazing body of work spans the globe and is the symbol of excellence in sports entertainment. And he was the... Yes! Unreal performance. These guys gave everyone their money's worth. Here's another look. Yeah, he's putting in the work. He was on point the entire match, as you can see here. Here is your winner, the Nature Boy, Rick Flair. Nicely done. He picks up the win. Mothers, lock up your daughters. Rick Flair will be a styling and profiling after that win tonight. Come on, Corey. Woo! It's decidedly less cool when you say it. After that, I can't wait for the next time we have an opportunity to call a triple threat match.